Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Uh, my partner and I and two very dear friends just got back from a wonderful time up north along the North Shore uh, on Lake Superior. The trip was just fantastic. It was filled with good camp food and adventure and even more amazing company. So why we're here today is my buddy Matt, who was along for the trip, volunteered to bring his AeroPress for coffee. Now, I love coffee, I love the smell, the taste, everything about it, but I gave it up 10 or so years ago due to caffeine and my bod just not liking it. Yes, even decaf. And my partner recently did so as well, so we just haven't had the need for this nifty piece of equipment in our lives. Side note, I don't know if you know this, but I actually read every single one of your comments that you all leave on my videos. I value them so, so, so much, uh, especially your stories, tips and tricks, advice and thoughts, and it's a pretty neat little community that we've got here, so thank you. Now to tie this all together, there is an individual who has managed to comment on nearly all of my videos related to beverages and drinking vessels, and even videos that have nothing to do with either of these things, and all of the comments are about AeroPress and wanting to see a review on one. So when my friend Matt offered, it was a light bulb moment. So here is a little video about Matt showing me how to use an AeroPress in the woods for the first time. Matt actually surprised the heck out of all of us with how natural he is and uh, was speaking on the fly in front of cameras and others staring at him. Uh, me, on the other hand, not so much. I typically film my speaking portions of my videos alone in my studio like I am right now with no one else around. I can certainly take a few lessons from Matt. And stay tuned, we're all going to make Matt start a YouTube. Uh, so let's get into it. Hey folks, we're reporting live from the North Woods. This is Matt, I'm Milo, and we're gonna be figuring out how to use an AeroPress. I don't know anything about AeroPress at all. I don't drink coffee, used to, love it, don't get on my case about it, um, would love to still drink it, but I haven't had the need to have an AeroPress in my life because of that. So uh, my buddy Matt here today is uh, being super kind and helping me out by providing an AeroPress and is going to show me how to use it from scratch. Uh, so this is looking at you, Tim AZ. Uh, let's jump right on into it. Okay. okay. So this is the AeroPress Go. So to start with, comes with a cap. Everything's all included with it. Has a little pack for filters. So we'll take a filter out. Unscrew the cap. Put the filter in. I don't even know anything about the Spin theory though. Like what is, so the idea is to put coffee in this and then like squish it all the way down and through. Yeah, it does some kind of great extraction. It tastes amazing, I love it, so. <laughs> okay, so how far do I fill this up then? We'll start with the coffee. Oh, okay, clearly we gotta do that first. I'll just put a scoop in. Then we'll put the coffee in, kind of, the important thing is you put the coffee in, it starts draining right away. It drains slowly, but it does drain. Okay. So I'll just want to cap it. And then water in there. I just go to three. Okay. Commenters let us know if that's wrong. Where's three? Keep going. Okay. Oh, on the outside. Nice. We'll then give it a minute. We'll fast forward this part for you all. So we're 30 seconds in, so we're just gonna give it a little spin, kind of mix things around in there. Then we'll wait another 30. So we are at a minute. So now it's just as simple as pressing it down. The water will be brewed. We'll get coffee at the bottom. The grounds will stay up. And what version of this is this? This is the AeroPress Go. Okay. I believe the Go comes with this cup at the bottom so it all can be transported in one self-contained unit. So now we've got the coffee, got it brewed. Pretty, oh God, that smells good. And for disposal, they make it really easy. We'll walk over to the garbage. You just unscrew the cap. Put that down, keep on pressing, shoots it right out, mess free. All right, and with that abrupt ending, I want to extend a huge thank you to my wonderful friend, Matt, for his use of his AeroPress and his wonderful introduction to how to use it for the first time for myself, and to my partner for being the one human camera crew, and to my great friend, Abby, for being the hype man. 
lastly, this was a great toe in the pond for me to get used to vlog style videos. Uh, definitely going to be a little clunky at first, but I'm really excited to be able to continue that into my master's program so you guys can see a day in the life, what it's like being a master's student in product design. As always, I'm Milo Tash. Thanks for watching.